everyone, so I have a really fun look for you today. I call it underwater nails, and it looks like this. That's what the fingers look like. And then the thumbs look like that. It's just really fun. It's perfect for the summer, so I hope you like it. Next we're going to use a really pretty blue color from OPI. This is called Teal the Cows Come Home. Um, and this is a really gorgeous color. And it's going to be our main color, so just going to do um, one coat on each nail. Look how pretty that is. Alright, so we have our one coat of Teal the Cows Come Home, and what we're going to do is next we're going to apply this color. It's um, Wet n Wild's Caribbean Shine. It's such a beautiful color. Um, we're going to do that on kind of the um, top half of our nails. So take your nails, just kind of um, place it on there. It doesn't have to um, go by anything. It actually looks better if it's a little bit random. And you can do it a little longer in one place. We're just trying to get it to look kind of like the ocean, like water. And the ocean has different colors, blues and greens in it. Um, so that's what we're going for here. You can see that color change right there. It's subtle, um, but it looks really pretty when the finished nail is done. Okay, so now we have um, our two colors on, our blue and our green, and this is what it looks like. And it's already starting to look like water. So now what we're going to do is going to take uh, a piece of paper or plastic, I'm using an index card, and we're going to start um, putting down our other colors that we're going to be using. So first, we're going to paint um, this part right here. See that gold? right there. Um, it's supposed to be like the bottom of the ocean or the sand. And you can see it there too. So we're going to do that first. And to do that thing was CoverGirl polish um, and it's in bronze beauty. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that down. I'm going to take a paintbrush with a really fine tip. See how fine that is? And I actually got this brush from the craft store. Um, I think I got it for two dollars. What you're going to do is you're going to dip your um, brush in. And you can use any um, brush with a, like a very thin tip like this. It doesn't have to be the same one that I'm using. And then we're going to start over here and we're just going to paint a line at the very bottom of our nail. Just like that. Just gives it a little bit of shimmer. Okay, so I have all of um, the sand part on my nails. And after each um, time I use the brush, I just kind of dip it into a little um, nail polish remover just to get all that paint off. That way um, I'll keep my brush nice. It just takes a couple seconds and then you're all set. What we're going to do next is we're going to do the... Um, we're going to do those dots right there. Um, they're actually two colors. They're white and they're also a very light green. So we're going to do the white first. So what I'm using is another Wet n Wild Wild Shine. And this is in um, French white. And these are really cheap nail polishes. But they cover in one coat, which is good for nail art. So dot a little bit onto that index card again. And I'm using this tool right here. I got it at the craft store. It was $1.99. It's actually for beads, but it's good for making dots. Um, you can use a toothpick or a special um, dot making tool for nails um, if you want anything that works. So you just dip it in. And 
And then I'm just going to start making dots. Um, I'm just kind of touch it down. The lighter you touch it down, the smaller your dart dot's going to be. And the you know the longer you hold it there, and the more pressure you put um, with the more paint, the bigger your dot's going to be. So I'm just kind of like go up there. Just kind of put them wherever you want. I'm kind of keeping them in this kind of like swooping form because I think it looks cool. But I mean, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so our dots are on there, and again, um, I like to wipe off this tool as well and nail polish remover as I go. That way, you know, it stays clean and it keeps working well. And then the other color dots that I'm using, I'm just going to put like one or two, um, just for a little variation, is this color um, by OPI, and it's called um, Hey Get in Lime, and it's a really cool lime green color. I like this color. It is a little thin for nail art, but um, it'll work. We're just going to use it very sparingly anyways. So, again, same thing. Put it on there. And I'm just going to put one or two. See how this one's a little bit thinner? So it doesn't work as nicely. That's it. So then I'm going to continue doing that for each of my fingers, and then I'll show you how I do my thumb. Okay, so we have um, all four fingers done, and now I'm going to show you how I do my thumb, because it's a little bit different. So that's the look for the fingers. Really easy. You guys can do this. Um, okay, so for the thumb, I'm going to put down a little more of that um, white color again. I'm going to take um, your dot making tool, dip it in. I'm going to kind of make like an arc, bring it all the way over to the side. There you go. And then we're going to take another paint. So I'm using this dark color um, by NYC, and it's called Skin Tight Denim Cream. And it's um, really pretty navy. It's got a little bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to put that down. And then we're just going to take that um, brush with the thin tip again and just roll it in there. In there. And this is kind of um, supposed to look like seaweed at the bottom of the ocean, but it's very abstract. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just kind of um, have it there. And then just follow the curve to the side. And you I'm just going to go over that line again, just like that. And then we're just going to do a line on the other side as well. two thumbs. So here's the final look. I hope you guys give this a try. It's a fun look, especially for the summer, and it's really easy. It gives you a chance to practice a few different nail techniques um, and just have fun with it. You don't have to do it exactly like I did it. Just make it your own. So thanks for watching.